teams here with a little build for you guys. Nothing super fancy, but it's a um, request build. I, I um, asked for suggestions on my Twitter a few days ago, and this one came from Morpheus GI, I do believe. So check out his channel if you haven't done so. I'll, um, I'll have a link put down in the comments section or the description, whichever. So you should go check out his channel, some awesome stuff there. And, um, yeah, this is a um, kind of fisherman shack kind of place. But um, yeah, I wanted it, instead of they come here to like sleep and fish, it's uh, just somewhere where they can come and fish. And like it's you now like everything they need can have an area for gutting the fish or have it gutted if, if they need kind of taught how to do so or they can buy extra bits if they um, need spare parts for their fishing rods or they wanna you know oomph it up a bit <laughs> I was um, yeah well, I was quite surprised that that end piece snapped through the through the wall I was quite pleased but I, I do change it because I put on a corner piece and I just didn't like the look of the roof. Normally I like them quite scrappy, you know, haphazardly put together. But um, yeah, I wanted it kind of looking half decent. Um, I thought about glitching in another wall piece here so I could have the roof going all the way across. But uh, as you'll see a little bit later on, it would, it would have kind of been a, <laughs> a hazard. You like smash your face off the <laughs> off the roof as you're walking into it. So instead, I just went for the barn posts running down the length of the let's call it you know fishing pier because that's what it is. I. Uh, Instead of like, just glitching it in, and I just went for the easiest and most simple solution, which is just to put a wall on the end and just take it away, take away that one. And then we have a covered fishing area, so it's staying nice and dry. And, um, I left the decorating part of this. As ever, until the final tour, Cause it was kind of, I was, was kind of messing about with bits and pieces for quite a while. And, um, I've said it in my previous videos, I've got quite a short attention span, so I'll, um, yeah, in all my videos, I'll just <laughs> do all the, unless it's like a little tip of like how I, um, decorate or if I'm trying something new with glitching in something then I'll include it but um, uh, if it's just you know, regular faffing about I won't bother putting it in and borrowing the pants off you so uh, yeah, here you see, uh, you can get through it but uh, I just didn't like the, the thought of someone tall coming in smashing the face on it, so I was like, nope. Yeah, here, all I've done is just glitched in two of the um, rugs onto a cabinet, and it looks like a workbench. Kind of workstation. Uh, Sims here, all I've done is I've glitched in one of the um, fish tables into a bathtub. Uh, I tried using a rug but it kept jumping up so I was like you know what let's not use the rug and it fit in perfectly anyway the final tour is coming up in just a second and see what I came up with and here we are yeah and now that it's better light I can actually see the t-shirt 
I really like that's the from the um creation club stuff. Fishy. I've no idea why I put the exclamation on the map. Exclamation on the end. I think it was just because there was one space at the end. It was kind of bothering me. So there you can see a little bait bin. And all the fish drying. It's also for sale in the little shop here. Got to have the fans get rid of the fishy whiff. Yeah, that's the workstation with the protective mats to cover the table and that's where they put them to let all the guts and bits dry out and anything that isn't thrown out the window is kind of recycled and used as fishing bait which is horrific yeah I, I just like the idea of <laughs> using a, a bread bin to store all the caps in it, um, it made sense in my mind like I said very very bare bones but um, there's, there's one, two, and three. So there's fish, three fishing areas here. And they each have like a little, little table and a place to dry the fish. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Bye for now, guys.